Of the many reasons why a garage door needs service, here are four of the most common. By understanding these problems, you can reduce the chances of being taken advantage of by a disreputable repair company. If your automatic garage door system won't close, a common cause is a photo eye that somehow got bumped out of alignment or its lens became blocked by debris. Whenever the photo eye beam is broken, your garage door opener will assume that an obstruction is in the path of the door and it will not close the door. You can fix this problem quickly and safely by yourself. Clean and readjust the photo eye until the light is not flashing. Your door opener should then close the door. Another common problem is a broken spring. You can detect this problem visually by checking the spring that is usually located on the wall directly above the door opening. When a spring breaks, the door may be too heavy for an automatic opener to lift it. If your door has two springs, it's appropriate to have both springs replaced. Scammers have been known to grossly overcharge for this service. An easy way to learn standard pricing is to simply do an internet search for how much does a garage door spring replacement cost? If the remote control doesn't work, the problem could have several sources. To save yourself from an unnecessary service call, try these quick alternatives. If other remote controls work just fine, a new battery in the problem remote should resolve the issue. Also, check the photo eyes to see if they are obstructed or out of alignment. If so, a quick adjustment should solve the problem. If that isn't the problem, a reputable dealer can diagnose and fix it. A new opener is not usually needed unless yours is more than 10 years old. In case you need a new opener, do a quick internet search for installed prices for a residential garage door opener. This will help you recognize a repair price or a new opener price that is out of line. Another common problem is a noisy door. This might be resolved with the simple application of a manufacturer recommended lubricant to the hinges, rollers and springs. If that doesn't work, contact a trained professional who can assess and fix the problem quickly, safely and at a reasonable cost. If a technician wants to sell you additional parts, remember to ask why they are needed. You have the right to refuse those parts if you feel that you don't need them. We also recommend that you call at least one other local garage door dealer to be sure that any quoted prices are appropriate. Getting an additional estimate is one of the best ways to avoid getting scammed. Specifically, get an estimate from a member of the International Door Association. Just go to www.doors.org and use its Find a Dealer function to find a dealer in your area. You can also use the dealer search function found at any of the industry's manufacturer websites. Just go to the DASMA member page and click on any of the links to member websites. For more information, check out our other videos found at the dooreducation.com website. This video is a production of DASMA and IDA, North America's two trade associations devoted to the integrity of the garage door industry.